<laughs> Michael, be, do you know if Beck has ever been, you know, if they've thought about making Beck into a porno? Well, uh, <laughs> 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 I, think, I, I think the Bob Peter Harbour director, I think that, uh, yeah. Interesting thoughts. Yeah. Interesting thoughts. Talking about the main character in the <laughs> oh, movie. Okay. Yeah. But you're on your way to Washington, D.C., right? I'm on my way to Washington, D.C. I was invited to the White House. Um, I think that, uh, yeah. <laughs> why, why are they letting you in? I, I have no idea. I thought I was uh, being punked, or I thought it was a practical joke. I got an invitation. The President and uh, Mrs. Obama would like to invite you to a cocktail party at their home the White House, <laughs> and I did a little investigation to make sure no one was playing a trick on me, and I, I don't know, they, I was invited. I, I'm a big fan of his, so uh, I'm... We I'm, all are. Yeah. But what are you going to wear? Is it important to, you know, to look good, or are you going to do in a rock and roll t-shirt? I, I don't think I should wear a half shirt, if that's what you're saying. Well, yeah. you're in good shape. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine I show up in like a belly tee? Um, no, I'm going to wear a nice suit. Probably my Obama pin or something. I think Noel Gallagher from the band Oasis, he went and meet, met with uh, Tony Blair, At right? 10 Downing Street, yeah. yeah. And he actually snorted cocaine in the, in the Downing so, Street. Right? Yeah, so maybe that's not recommended. I, 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 well, I don't do drugs, and, and if, I, if I was going to try them, I definitely wouldn't do them in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a cool thing in an uncool thing. Yeah. <laughs> so good luck with that. What about Scrubs? What's happening um, there? Scrubs is, uh, it's, a, it's a weird time for Scrubs because it was supposed to end. Um, th this, we just just aired the the finale of the whole series and uh, um, and so but now they it did enough ratings that they're talking about trying to keep it going in, in some way in some slightly different incarnation and you're not like one of those actors who just after a while just leaves the show because you want to do other things or I mean are you loyal to Scrubs as a series I love Scrubs I mean I, it's it's been my whole career it's been you know it's had such a wonderful following and all over the world I mean people are, are getting it so I'd love to keep it going in some way. I'm not going to be there every day, but, you know, you know the, the, with the way Frasier kind of came off of Cheers, you know, they kind of did a little bit of a spin-off. I think that's what they're talking about doing. So I can, I'll come visit. Who is, who is the most famous? Is it, when do you get the most starstruck? Michael met uh, Mickey Rourke the other night. Yeah. He was a little bit starstruck. And James Lipton today. And James Lipton today. Yes. Yeah. When do you get starstruck? Um, I got starstruck the other day in a coffee shop. I met Eddie Murphy. Ooh. And uh, he is one of my heroes, um, one of the funniest. When I was a kid growing up, I, I was just, you know, he was, he was one of the reasons I wanted to be funny. Yeah. And, I, and I, normally I have some tact around stars. I, I, I try and act cool like everyone does, like, oh, hey, I'm a fan of your work. But I just started gushing. And I was just saying, you know, you're amazing. You know, I, was talking, I was quoting lines from Beverly Hills Cop and all this stuff. <laughs> I, I, I spoke for about, like, five minutes straight. I didn't let him move. I didn't get a little, and he starts looking at me a little funny, and he's like, did, did, did anyone ever tell you you look like Anne Hathaway's boyfriend that went to jail? <laughs> <laughs> Do you know this guy? Yeah. I don't know if you have a picture of him. I, I think I'll, have... I'll find something here. You keep talking and All I'll right. see what I... Yeah, there you go. There I have it here. So yeah. I've heard this before and... Uh, and it's a distinct resemblance, I don't I know say. that I look Can like him, him but uh, it's hard to see him. You uh, honestly look... You look younger than he is. But... Well, I guess we could be brothers. Yeah. But anyway, when, when this poor guy was getting in trouble, uh, people told me this all the time, right? And I was like, okay, whatever. But here I am with my hero, and I'm gushing, and I'm saying, you're, you're so, such a genius, and he's looking at me funny, and he goes, did anyone ever say you look like Anne Hathaway's boyfriend that went to jail? And I said, yes, Eddie, I, I have heard that. He's like, yeah, I was watching the news, and, and when they were arresting him, and I was like, that looks like the dude from Scrubs. <laughs> so that was my experience with my hero, Eddie Murphy. You have never, you have never dated Anne Hathaway. I have not, neither, I have not dated Anne Hathaway, nor am I in jail. <laughs> uh, would be weird. Well, if you take drugs in the White House, that could be accomplished. <laughs> that, was, that could be one way. You know, we have a. a we have a little thing that we always do on this show. Is, is a little, I wouldn't call it a game, but it, 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 what would you say? It's, if we have, a, we just ask you if, done, if you've done these things. Okay. And if you've done these things, you just raise your hand. Michael? Michael, are you here as well? Yeah. yeah. Still recovering from the Lipton interview. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. I'm, I'm here. I, you're here. That's good. Okay. Oh, let's, let's start. Have you ever been a little bit attracted to a man? Right now, I'm very attracted to you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Michael? Yeah, yeah, in that sense, I can... I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Have you ever been a little bit attracted to an animal? Yeah. <laughs> okay. In that way, too. <laughs> there are some hot goats. Yeah. <laughs> the Modern Museum of Art in Stockholm has a great goat with a tire around Paul that. McCarthy, right? Maybe. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. 
Have you ever fallen asleep sitting on the toilet and when you, and when you wake up, your legs are completely numb because your arms have been on your legs? <laughs> no, no. That's, you've done that? Many yeah, times. It actually, uh, <laughs> it happened after a very late night in Los Angeles for <laughs> Freddie at the garage place. Uh, have you ever taken a bite off a drinking glass? <laughs> like this? Yeah, of course. <laughs> He's a man's man. No, that's, that's very masculine. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever gotten laid in Stockholm? Yeah. <laughs> well, I have no comment. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so, Washington, and uh, what would be the first thing you say when you meet Mr. Obama, you think? Um, well, I've met him briefly before. And, you know, when you're, when you're speaking to the President of the United States, you, you get like five seconds, you know, and he's very, very nice. Um, so I will just say I'm, I'm so happy that you're in this job because you, I, I think the country and the world really needed you to, to be there. So yeah. I will just be so happy and I'll hug him if the Secret Service doesn't tackle me. And he will say, I thought you were in prison. No, you know, <laughs> yes. uh, he will say, say what, what happened with you and Anne Hathaway? Yeah. <laughs> he will say, were you on that Swedish talk show yesterday? Yeah, I love it. That could be the case. He say, yes, he's a big fan of your show. <laughs> So I don't know, uh, you guys sit here for, uh, we're just going to go to commercials, but we want you still on the couch so people have a good reason to stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. We will talk to uh, Get You Veckans Snackies.